Manchester United, three Everton egg. <laughs> Who would have thought that Manchester United would have scored at least more than one goal away at Goodison Park, which wasn't a good result for Everton, given that they have had 10 points deducted from them after some allegation, you know, whatever, whatever happened there is me. But Manchester United came out on the day and we got three points and three goals. You look at the starting lineup. I didn't, oh, let, me, let me preface my comments by saying this. I didn't watch the game, none at all. I didn't watch the game. Um, but when I saw the highlights, I saw it was going the, fir the, thir the first three minutes. And I'm like, gonna just go in the first three minutes. Oh, we might be onto something here. And I saw the goal. It was a good ping pass from Victor Lindelof, is me, to Rashford. Rashford should be playing on the right hand side. I'm going to get to that more in a second. And Rashford played uh, Dalo. Dalo with the ball in the box. This brethren from Argentina think he's a Portuguese Cristiano Ronaldo. The Argentinian Cristiano Ronaldo that scored the overhead kick against Juventus in the Champions League in 2018. I'm saying, bro, where is this coming from? <laughs> What motivated you to do all of this? I did, dude, when I saw that goal and the celebration, I'm like, okay, we have the young Christian Ronaldo, is me. He's going to make miracles for us. He's going to turn water into whiskey, is me. Turn water into wine. <laughs> I mean, he's just, I mean, no. In all seriousness, that was a very good goal. Unexpected, but it was a very good goal. Um, Rashford got a, a goal. Um, Rashford got a goal from the spot. Yeah. Is me, uh, Martial. Martial started today, which he should have started today anyway. Is me, um, yeah, Martial started today and got a goal. See, look at the chance. Look at the chance that Martial scored from. That was half a chance. The, the you know it was the uh, there was some intricate play there. Ball fizz into the feet of Anthony Martial. Boom, goal. Simple as that. Good dink over the keeper. Is me, boom, just like that, and it goes to show me. Oh, this uh, this is the thing that's I think I think this is the first time this has happened in the Premier League or even at all in the season. Our front three has been on the score sheet in the same game. Our front three: Anthony Marcia, Marcus Rashford, Angel. Uh, what's his, what's his first name? Aljandro Ganat. Well, I know him as Ganatre, isn't me? Ganatre, isn't me? So. There's positives to take from this game. We're now in sixth place behind uh Newcastle. Is me. Um the top the Premier the, 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 the Premier League is looking very competitive as it should be. Um given the top ten. Um top ten sides in the top ten. Uh me and man, it's a good result, man. I'm not complaining. I'm not bickering. I'm pretty sure that we're behind the eighth ball a few times in the game against Everton. That like we're like Barcelona in twenty eleven, dominating every game. But we got three points, we got three goals. Is me so let's put the complaining a bit. I mean, there I'm pretty sure I didn't again I didn't watch the game, but I'm pretty sure there were some nitpicky stretches in the game where you could say Manchester United could have done better. Mm -hmm. Manchester United should have praised this bridging. Manchester United shouldn't have given possession in this position. It is Manchester United should have get another goal in this situation. So maybe that's the case, but I'm taking it from the premise that we got a clean sheet, we got three points, and we got three goals, and our three forwards. Today we're on the score sheet. Is me? So that's a positive in my book. Hamagoy didn't make no 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 uh no um no major mistake that would would have led to a goal against us. Good day, right? Good start to the new week, right? So we got three points, three goals. I love it. Let me say this right now. So the positive is this going forward. Start Marcus Rashford on the right hand side. Start Anthony Marcel as a striker, not because Hoyland is injured. Place Marcel up top because of merit, not because of Hoyland being injured. Yeah, that, that's a reason in itself. But the primary reason that is that Marcel should be starting as a striker. You could see that, dude, it's just different energy, man. When he gets chances, half a chances, he makes them into goals. Again, Anthony Marcel since 2017... Has been our best finisher. Is me after Zatan's injury, Marcel was our best finisher, and he is our best finisher to date. Is me so start him as striker and gonna try on the left hand side. He's in some vein of form. Let's give him that credit right now. Is me 
that's all i have to say in this in this match reaction man like and subscribe to the channel uh leave your comments below in the comment section our brother is out we have a champions league game against galatasaray away from home i think on wednesday because we played on sunday so i'm pretty sure we will go play on no tuesday because we played two days ago so we're playing on wednesday so because we're playing on wednesday against galatasaray away from home let's keep the momentum man let's keep the positivity is me let's keep the positive i know it's not an easy going to go against but i mentioned that in my preview on the on the day uh on on, on tuesday so look out look out for that i'm out